been blessed again with fantastic weather conditions for day three of Quick Target West. A really big day, 118 competitive kilometres. A real chance for our drivers to get their teeth into these roads. They are really driver roads in and around 2J, northeast of Perth. Some real classic stages through here. And we'll head this afternoon to the Chire of Chittering where we'll do the Oscon Marysville downstage as well as the Ballsbrook stages. Some real favourites amongst the competitors. Some news overnight, Peter Major, who was our modern uh, leader, he took that time penalty to try and sort some car issues out. That hands the lead to Brent Wilkinson. Be interested to see how he manages that. And also Pete Major, very confident that he has sorted those dramas out. As far as classics go, Paul Moltoni has that big lead in his Porsche. And uh, Simon Gunson, who we thought might charge back today, has already, on the way to this stage, had a few issues, so we're hearing. So lots to play out for. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic day of Quick Target West. Stuart Little doing a fabulous job, mate. Hopefully better today, Dean. Yeah, we've had a couple of problems yesterday. I've made a, a little bit of a wrong decision. You know how it goes, and you tapped a couple of things, but should all be nice and straight today, and let's get into it. Big day today. You're obviously uh, you know, ready for these 2J stages. Yeah, we're certainly ready. Um, we're not, we don't put any expectations on ourselves. The biggest expectation is to finish this rally. Leading target west, mate. Yeah, it's good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Pete had a bit of an issue and had to pull the car out overnight, but um, no, look, we're sitting pretty, uh, not going to worry about the numbers too much. Uh, today's a big day and we'll uh, we'll continue our uh, form so far. Big Major, it sounds like you uh, did what you were hoping to and put it into the garage last night and that's probably the smart move by the sounds of it. Yeah, we found quite a few things that were uh, not helping the heating issues, so uh, she's all fixed, mate, and uh, the boys at Racing Dynamics, Kate and Sean from all staff, giving it a check on the dyno afterwards. Um, she's all back together and fingers crossed she's good to go. Good stuff. Well, you and Greg are looking relaxed, mate. Fire in today, eh? Yes, I've been told I got to be talk like Sven from Sweden all day because the boys <laughs> worked all night, so I'm Sven today. I think that would put me off, but anyway, good luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>